It's your man, it's your boy, Toast21. I'm back with another video. In this video, I like to talk about what the hell's been going on in my house with my fish tanks. Complete disaster. And the aquarium that we're looking at right now is 55 gallon. Well, it didn't have a center brace on it. Yeah, I knew it didn't when I got it. I decided to put the fish and fill it up with water in there anyway. I've done it before years past, nothing happened. But this time I noticed that it bowed. So when I came downstairs that day, I noticed that it bowed. I quickly took the water out and removed the fish, put it in a smaller tank, put filtration on it, and left town. You know, but before I left town, I added a center brace, a piece of glass right down the middle. Upon return home, two days later, check the tank that I put the fish in, half of them were dead. I was, oh man, I don't even want to talk about it. How sick and disgusted I was. I was not sure what happened. I'm not sure if it was just too small of a tank for all those fish, but I had a super large hang on back filter on it. Half the fish were dead. So, Anyway, I quickly got those out, put them in my other 55 gallon tank. And you know, I don't run a heater. I didn't have a heater on the one downstairs in the basement for those two days. It's not a heater on the one upstairs either, but the room temperatures are pretty different. And I contracted ick. And I was battling ick with all the fish in the tank. Lost three or four, I, you know, I try to treat it with the ick, um, things that they say you should treat ick with, the medicine, the meds, and turn up your heat. Well, in the process, I think the heat got to a lot of my fish. So, that killed about eight fish before I realized maybe I should just let the heat thing go and keep the medication up. So, I'm out of approximately 18 fish in the course of two weeks. And I'm sick as a dog about it. But hey, you can't be a crybaby as a fish keeper. Things happen. They will happen. They're going to happen. Just hope you can keep it at a minimum. You know, again, I believe it's my fault. I probably should have put a heater on that tank or put it in a different tank. I just, I never would have done that if I thought this would happen. But it did. I mean... I can cry about it to the end of time, won't change anything. So I'm in the process of buying new fish. It makes you want to quit, I won't lie about that. It becomes just a little bit too much to handle at times. You see a 20 or 20 fish dead on you, two, three hundred dollars just down the drain. We know at the time we purchase the fish, they're gonna die at some point, but not in the same two, three, four day span. So that's what's been going on with me lately. Hopefully you guys don't make some of the same mistakes I did. I've been keeping fish for a long time. You know, we still make mistakes. I paid the pie piper. That's exactly what I did. But again, I will say, you cannot be a crybaby if you want to be a fish keeper. Whether it's salt water or fresh water, things do happen. And you're just going to have to deal with them. You know, just try to use your better judgment when making certain moves. And maybe you can avoid some of these issues. Well, I was trying, this is my OB tank that I showed you guys the last time. It's a little bit lighter than it was with the fish. I've added some more. You know, I'm still working on it to get it back the way I want it. It was never, it never did reach the point to where I wanted it to be in the first place because of that tragedy that happened. So now I have a minor setback, but I'm just gonna keep your breaths. This is where we're looking at it right now. This big boy, my favorite, he may have to go because he's poking at eyes, messing the people's eyes up already. Beautiful, beautiful fish, but I don't know if I'm gonna keep him in here because I can't have you taking out fish before I get them. Get everybody backed up in corners. He's a beast. Well, maybe when I add more fish, 
maybe it would, um, you know, stretch out the aggression a little bit. Somebody as tough as he is, you know, I want to make sure everything's okay in the other tank. When I bring down the other OBs, we'll see what happens. Please hit that like button, subscribe, and to the next time, remember people, God is love, and be blessed people. See you next time.